When ASUS announced the ZenBook Duo series of laptops is coming back but with a brand new hinge design, I was awestruck. Of course, that is not the only upgrade done on this laptop. So let me share my experience with you after using this laptop for some time. By looking at this laptop, it's very similar to the previous generation. It has a metal body with concentric circles on the lid and it also has the updated ASUS 30th Anniversary logo. It's minimalist and elegant at the same time. When we want to open the lid though, this is where the magic happens. You see, ASUS is now using a hinge design that is just so wonderful that the main display literally props up by a double hinge design. ASUS calls this the AAS Ultra, also known as the Active Aerodynamic System Ultra. You see, the ScreenPad Plus is lifted up by a 12 degrees angle already, but there is yet another hinge on the high side of the ScreenPad Plus which lifts up the main display. This new hinge design brings two major improvements. Number one is that the bottom bezel of the screen is mostly hidden thanks to how the hinge is designed and positioned. And secondly is that that leaves a huge unrestricted gap behind this laptop. And this is also where the new cooler design comes into play. ASUS calls this the Ice Cool Plus and ASUS claims that it can increase airflow by 38% with that 20mm air intake gap and achieves 4 degrees Celsius cooler surface temperature. I'm not going to dive deep into the technicalities but just know that this laptop running Windows 11 Home that the gaming performance offered by the Intel Core i7-12700H with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti is able to run Halo Infinite above 30 FPS at all times while playing at medium graphical settings. I also need to highlight once again that this laptop is running Windows 11 Home and that is very important because Windows 11 can make the Intel latest 12th gen processors with their P-Core and E-Cores to work properly. In short, the overall performance will be increased as the background task will take up the E-Core while the heavier duties will take up the P-Core instead. We have talked about this in our other video, so check it out at the top right corner there because only Windows 11's kernel can handle this P-Core E-Core separation properly. That is very important, so do keep note. But I do need to highlight that the temperature and fan speed of the ASUS ZenBook Pro 14 Duo OLED does ramp up significantly to cool the components down. The GPU doesn't even touch 80 degrees Celsius at all, but the CPU though, it boosts up when Halo Infinite is still loading a map and it can go up to about 90 degrees Celsius and the fan ramps up really loudly. While in-game, the CPU temperature drops to about 65 degrees Celsius and the fan speed is definitely not that loud. And of course, that is not all since it has 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM at 4800 MHz which is very sufficient for content creation when we are not gaming. And speaking of content creation, the ScreenPad Plus has gotten such a big upgrade in terms of its new software which is now called the Screen Expert 3. We previously have said that the ScreenPad Plus can be used as a quote-unquote control panel for supported apps like Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro and also Lightroom Classic. But that is not the only use for the ScreenPad Plus. It is so well integrated into Windows 11 right now that we can drag and hold onto a window and then we get to select which monitor that window goes to and also which segment of that display it should go to. Once I discovered that this feature exists, I immediately began multitasking since this laptop also comes bundled with Microsoft Office Home and Student 2021, I wrote video scripts using Microsoft Word on the main display while finding reference materials via the ScreenPad Plus screen and also catching up on Netflix at the same time. Just don't tell my bosses that I'm watching Netflix while working. By the way, did you know that Netflix has restriction on its resolution depending on what browser that you're using? Have a look at this table provided by Netflix. I advise you to just use Microsoft Edge browser all the time since it supports both 4K Ultra HD streaming and HDR2. But if you want to install the Netflix app on Windows 11, then just head into the Microsoft Store and download it there because you can also watch 4K Ultra HD and stream at HDR2. Oh, let's not forget that this laptop also comes included with the Asus Pen 2.0 in the box. 
and it is usable on both the main and secondary display so you can use the pen however you want. By the way, these two displays are also touch sensitive. The top display is a little bit wobbly if you want to use the touchscreen because it's on a double hinge mechanism but I'm okay with that. But we're still not done talking about the hinge yet. Since the main screen is now floating above the laptop, the back is completely unrestricted and ASUS made good use of that space and they move a few of the ports behind. So we have the barrel jack at the back, microSD card reader and also a HDMI 2.1 port. There are more ports on both the left and right side of the laptop and I like the overall selection of ports available on this laptop. And here are a few more quick mentions. The laptop's keyboard and trackpad remains the same as the last generation but I'm okay with that since it works really well and they are comfortable to use. As for the battery life, it can last for about 3 to 5 hours on the silent power profile but that also depends on what I'm viewing during my time of usage. I would say it's pretty decent considering that there are two displays on this laptop that needs to be powered by one single battery. Let's not forget about the upgradability and serviceability as well. It's easy to open up just a few torque screws behind but there's really nothing that we can upgrade or swap. Everything is soldered onto the motherboard except for the NVMe SSD but I advise you to not touch that as well because there is a warranty sticker on the SSD screw. And finally, I think that the price of 8,999 ringgit is not a problem if you already set your eyes on this unique dual screen laptop. It really does improve productivity in a different way while also staying compact at the same time. And I mean, we can also play games using this laptop as well. And the bottom display, some games like Dying Light 2 can also take advantage of it as well. So yeah, that's it. That's all we have to share with you about this laptop. I'm really amazed by the new hinge design, the AAS Ultra. And good job to ASUS. So if you have any questions about this laptop, do leave your comments down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Also do let me know if you would like to have such a laptop on for yourself to use. Hmm, that'll be interesting, right? Yeah.